Hey yo, what up, people? It's your boy Tizzle, man. I'm gonna probably talk about Tizzle with your boy Skinny. You know What's what going I mean? On, y'all, we here, we here. So today's topic is: How would the world be if every woman you fucked got pregnant or had intercourse with sex, or whatever? However, y'all want to twist it up. I just. They, they, they keep asking how I'm living, I say daddy daddy They say your brother's still in that prison, I say daddy daddy Ain't living great, but shit, I'm trying to get my family straight But we gon' make it in a major way hey. Personally, a lot of y'all chicks with all that ass and them raptor faces Y'all wouldn't get no play For real, for real Like, all that, we wouldn't take them risk Know what? Like 80% of the women a nigga has sex with. have a bunch of babies right now. But outside of that, like... If you knew better, you if you knew that every woman you fuck, you think you still have a bunch of babies? I'll be cautious to who the oh. fuck I'm finna fuck. Facts. But it don't, I don't even think it to be mainly about how ugly a broad is. Like, I see how these people... I see how these females is with their regular kids. Facts. Facts. And I wouldn't want... I just wouldn't want no kid by that. Facts. Facts. On everything. You'll definitely be way more pickier but i'm saying like initially like when you look at a woman now like we see a woman now a guy could be like damn she got some abs like she ain't the cutest person i didn't see when i hit but i hit <laughs> you wouldn't have them conversations you wouldn't have that thought she would have to be the total package bro like y'all can think what y'all want about dudes but a lot of y'all got yeah. pregnant by accident and it's just facts you know what i'm saying majority the majority yeah, so right. like with me Let's say I had sex with 20 females. If I knew you was going to get pregnant, I'd be at like two or three. That would knock off like 95% of the women that I had sex with. And I'm not saying none was ugly or that. I just, it's a difference between a chick being hittable and being baby mom for sure. Now, accidents happen. But if I know for sure you're going to be my baby mama, oh, niggas be walking around here with their nose way in the air. (laughs) For real. Niggas, Niggas would be acting snobby like these bitches post portray. They acting. Facts. Facts, <laughs> bros. On everything. It ain't enough filters in the world to get a nigga to hit that pussy in real life. You know what I'm saying? It ain't enough in the world, bros. And I be thinking like this all the time because it's like social media builds false confidence. Facts. You know what I mean? They have these women who they know they're ugly. A girl nowadays get on social media, bros. They don't even show their face. They show all ass and they ear. They ear. <laughs> they show their whole ass in their ear and be like, "Little mama looking good today." Right. You them, feel me? Them little fancy hairstyles wouldn't be getting a nigga like that. No nah, more. none of that. You so, feel me? As soon as I see you look different than what you looked on on photo, I'm cool on you. That's not gonna be it. Uh, hygiene. I'm cool on you. Man, I'm critiquing. I'm 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 a critique. Everything exactly. is exactly like gonna, she, even if I think like she the baddest one, if I go to your house and I see anything, anything wrong, if you ain't got no wet wipes in the bathroom, <laughs> you ain't getting no dick. You feel me? I go in there, you got five dishes in the sink, oh, man. you ain't getting no dick. On oh, me, I, and I what's crazy is I was thinking about earlier, like you know, like the first time you go to a chick house, right? Yeah, you go to the bathroom, you normally check the shower. To make sure it's moist. To make sure you see water, water space and shit. I gotta notice you. And it better not be dirty. The the ring. I gotta check all that. Facts. I check. That's. I'm. They think it wasn't bad. I gotta piss. Sometimes I don't gotta piss. I just need to make sure. Gadget, baby. (laughs) And motherfucker in there looking through everything. I gotta. I gotta double check. So if I go into this bathroom and I check that small little thing, it's like. This bitch how she bad. Man. I don't. Well, I imagine what my kids would be. It'd be so like I, it's a different shit. Be sexy for me. Like when I go in a chick bathroom and it's hella clean and they have their own little like box full of tampons, soaps, and like sprays. You know what I mean? Right. That'd be hella sexy. You know, they be thinking they slick. Like you done went in a chick's house before and it smelled good, but it's dirty. Real shit. Like bitch, you just sprayed that before I got here. You ain't slick. <laughs> You ain't cleaned the wall since this motherfucker was built. Real shit. So, if dudes knew for sure that by having sex with you, you would pregnant. get pregnant, That'll a lot out. of y'all body counts would be at two and three. Please believe me. Please believe me. The niggas' body counts would be lower. Then Whoa. y'all wouldn't be able to say niggas is hoes no more. Facts. You wouldn't have to worry about that. And, and we'll be able to. Now you can't lie about your body count, bitch. You got 20 kids. Facts. Facts. You got twenty kids. A guy will be a guy will hit the brakes so fast, man. Because like, 
we was talking about this the other day. Yep. Perception is life. Like a girl can say to me or you, like, "Oh, you a hoe," but they can't name one thing you didn't do wrong. They can't name one female I fuck. Oh, I look like a hoe because I'm clean because I talk slick. Oh, I look like a hoe, but I can name four or five things that you didn't did, but you calling me a hoe. And you fucking with these hoe ass, like, it'd be like this. A girl will call you a hoe, right? And she'd be fucking with the biggest hoe in the city. Facts. Like, girl, this, your dude fucking 30 other women. And you know it, though. And you know it, and he's what still coming home, and he they be, they be like, you know every, every bitch this nigga fucking. You know all that Big shit. Big facts. And then you, you can't name one of mom, then you say I'm a hoe. I'm a hoe. Y'all egos is already fake hot. Fake high, absolutely. So egos would be so low. Yeah, they'd be humble. Getting pregnant every time. They'd be humble because you couldn't be a. If I'm like, man, yeah, I only got, I only got two kids, and you got six. Yeah. You know what I'm you saying? You triple me up, baby girl. You feel me? I know your body count higher than mine. And then who your six kids by? Right. Like, <laughs> at the end of the day, because it like, might be six different so niggas. We talk about this all the time. Like, I don't care how fine a chick is, bro. Like. When I see who she deal with, it turns me off. Like, right. it, it started chicks in the city, bros, and I was like, dang, man, she kind of bad. She jazzy, you know? She got some self-confidence about herself. And then she'll fuck with a dirty-ass dude, and I'll be like, mm. like, mm, my, you better than that. I thought, well, maybe I'm wrong. But I think but assume the woman that we, we put on display, mm -hmm. we try to keep her, like, you know, up there. As, you know, as far up there as we can. The the niggas they put on display it don't it don't be the same it, it don't be popular the same. you know what I'm saying because yeah. the female I put on display it, whether my ex chick thinks she ugly or however you feel about her while she's on display with me you ain't gonna be able to name a bunch of niggas she was fucking she fucking with and nothing crazy she doing but the chicks a nigga uh, the, the the females will put a nigga on display because he got that, a lot of women or and you know all that you Facts. feel me yeah. I could like a motherfucker don't know him. It's so many niggas I don't know, but I know who they fuck with. Oh, everything. And man. I don't and I don't even personally know the nigga. Yeah, because women are display it. Because they display that shit. They so quick to say, oh, yeah, I'm fucking with him. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking with him. Trying to put it out there. And then we don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I know he fucking with her, 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 her. Yeah. But I don't know that nigga. Y'all giving me too much of, of another man's personal business. On oh, everything, man. And it just be wild because it be like at the end of the day, like a woman a no a guy is a piece of shit. Yeah. Facts. And they still bring that around their daughters and all this shit. And it's crazy because bro is like And then they blame us though. But I'm gonna tell you some real shit, like it had been situations where like I'm the type of dude, right? If we go out, I'm I'm gonna open doors, I'm I'm a respectful dude. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I might not I'm the same way. wife you or nothing like that, but I'm not gonna dis I'm not gonna cuss you out, I'm not gonna disrespect you, da da da. So a woman to look at us like squares, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then go home to the nigga who beating their ass, treating them like shit, you feel me? Right. And they know that they deserve better than that, but they're attracted to that because they that's think they that that's supposed to be. Exactly. They and they, they might not want to admit that, but that's what they think it's supposed to be. They think niggas they think niggas is supposed to act jealous, niggas is supposed to act they think that's how you supposed to act. I didn't have so Which many females that feel like, Oh, if you don't feel like this about me, you don't give a fuck. And and vice versa. I tell women all the time, like, I don't know why you think that's cute. I don't think why you think it's cute for you to be jealous of every move I make. Yeah, that ain't cute. Like that shit ain't cute. There's nothing cute about that. Like I tell, Once you show me your confidence, man, it's it's over. It's over. And I tell people all, females all the time, bro, it's like, um, you know, women, they emotional creatures. So sometimes they be out of their mind a lot of times. They don't have right. no logic behind it. So a woman sometimes, she'll feel some kind of way with no proof and she'll go 10 on you. Oh, right. nigga, da, 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 da. I'm the type of dude that when I see the message, I laugh at it. You feel me? I laugh at it and send a thumbs down emoji. I'm not even going to respond to that. I'm not going to... Because we all know our woman or the women we dealing with, whatever. Right. We all know their insecurities. We know where we can hit and crush you. Every time. Y'all go for the juggle with us. Like, women go for the juggle with us. Like, oh, you, whatever they think that you have an issue with, they're going to go for they it. Try to, they're trying yeah. to push it. But we don't do that because it's like we don't have to. You know what I'm saying? We know your insecurities. And I always tell females, this is what I do, bros. 
if a woman go crazy against me, right, she talking bad and all that, I just like or I laugh at the the little comment yeah, and I don't say nothing. I won't say nothing for days because my my absence enough should be enough for me you to get your motherfucking act right. Because if you really feel like I'm a king, if you really feel like I'm that dude, my absence should mean something. I don't have to drive over there and whoop your ass. I don't have to disrespect you, call you all kind of bitches and put my foot up your ass. I ain't got to go crazy. No, you're going to go crazy because you're going to review what you said to me. You're going to realize you was wrong and you're going to come back with a mature. Apologetic. Exactly. They're going to come back with a mature. Hopefully you're able to come back apologetic. For real. But that's And if not, you know, you can do it moving. Yeah, you you can keep it moving. Nigga ain't tripping. That's that's my only like the biggest thing with women period is they they hurt themselves on purpose. Facts. Like I could tell a female, listen, you're not the only female I deal with, I deal with multiple women, or I do this and I do that. I could tell them all the good shit. They still gonna go try to go through my phone, see what I'm doing. Fact. Figure out exactly who I'm fucking with. Even what if I'm they doing. doing something. Right. And then you not for me it's always been like don't bother me if you ain't getting out the way. You feel me? Well, Don't let's not have this argument to where you damn near want me to beat you up every time. If you're not gonna get yourself out the way, like move yeah. out the way if you're so mad at what I'm doing or you don't feel what I'm doing. Well, you feel me? I just had a situation today where chick like, oh, you see such and such finna be in town. I'm like, oh yeah, you know I seen on Facebook that's coming in town. What that mean? Oh, I seen where when you was over here, you was trying to see what's up with them. Yeah. So you went through my phone to see that somebody was trying. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why why hurt yourself it's like frivolous. that? Like, why like, are you real. doing that to yourself? For real, because it's like they don't understand. Like, as a man, we get bored quick. Just right. because I was on that last week doesn't mean I'm on that. I'm this not week. on that this week. Exactly. I'm, and if, I didn't moved on. If that didn't work out at that time, like that's I'm probably even, like I'm not even thinking about that. For sure. And then that don't even to me. It's like why take yourself through that. Because at the end of the day, you hurting yourself. And I'm I do personally do. don't give a fuck. Yeah, for real. I don't give a fuck what you did. You finna hurt yourself Facts. for what? You know you know what feelings you got involved in this. You know what you're doing. Well, so, yeah. if that that's the only good part of... That would be the only good part if I know every female I'm going to fuck. I'm going to get pregnant is... Now I'm limiting everything down. You well, everything. Feel me? Now everything is a real you challenge. You gotta have a life, your lifestyle, yeah. your career, Man. your income, all that. All is, that shit. It's gonna be a real checklist. These females will post a long ass checklist of the type of man they want, and, and be dealing that. with the exact opposite. The exact opposite. <laughs> My checklist so gonna be serious on me, and I'm going point. by every bit of it. Um, so let me see your taxes from last year. For real, so made how much money last mean, year? What? Okay, your baby daddy. What does he do? Okay. So does he, you does he randomly come through and kick your door in to beat your ass? You woke up and got on Facebook and you didn't brush your teeth? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, little shit like that. I'm you got to go. I'm, I'm not fucking around. I'm not taking these type of risks. Not saying I'm not saying I'm the most high class nigga. I'm just saying. Yeah. This shit I'm I'm be going by. I catch you walking outside with no shoes and socks on. You're done. Yeah. This you know shit I'm saying? gonna be going by. Certain shit you, you do, you move a certain way. Smoking I, cigarettes. Man, smoking cigarettes. If I cigarettes. come in the house and I see a motherfucking Newport I'm done. You feel me? Man, if I see you arguing with, if you arguing with a random motherfucker that don't got no, 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 nothing to your life, they ain't helping you pay your bill. Nothing about them is finna fix your situation. Or benefit you. I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah. Because, because I know that we're gonna be in a bunch of bullshit the whole time for no reason. I ain't got time for that. I'm, I'm gonna cut everything off. Well, my body count to be, so I might fuck around and be. Well, I probably still wouldn't be married, but I'll be close to it. How you feel like as we go talk about pregnancies, right? Since we're on the subject, yeah. Like a lot of women, uh, get pregnant, right? And a guy doesn't have no say so over whether she keep it or not. I don't think that that's fair because we the ones on child support, we the ones getting bashed and all that. If a guy didn't told you a thousand times, I don't want this kid, I don't want none of that. When they go see that doctor, the doctor should have to call us in there. Like what? You, baby girl, you tell me why you think y'all should have a kid. <laughs> and, and, sir, you tell me why you think not. And who's ever more logical, that should be the next step. It shouldn't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I'm having it. Because you could tell a woman a thousand times, I don't want no kid. I don't want no kid. Before y'all even have sex. Like, oh, I'm not into that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the right position right now. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm not ready for that. Da, da, da. Boy, they get pregnant. That shit go in one ear and out the other. That's why guys be feeling trapped. Their intention is already that they want to bury by you. 
Yeah, that ain't fair though. And I think they are they the only argument they got is you know you know the repercussions of sex. But my thing is my on my only thing about it is if you can opt out of the situation at any given time, I should be able to too. Facts, man. Why so do you have I that should be able to say, you know what? I don't want that baby. If you yeah. had that baby, congratulations. That's between you, the baby, that's and all, God. Yes, that's up to y'all. Yeah, you because it, I didn't want it. Like I'm not saying, like like you said, you're supposed to have your responsibilities. I understand that, right? But what gives a woman that much power to say whether it's here or not? We I'm not should, stepping up like that, though. Listen, I tell people all the time. If I didn't personally want my kids, yeah. I would probably be a bad baby daddy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If somebody had a baby by me that I did not want the baby, yeah. if I feel like I was forced into that situation, yeah. I would probably just be a bad baby daddy. Take it out you I want told to. You I ain't want that. Yeah. So if I would have came over there and just popped the condom on purpose and got you pregnant, and you say you didn't want the baby, you can just go get the oh, abortion everything. and be going about your, your going way. Going about your merry way. You know what I'm saying? So... Since I don't have that same thing, I should be able to do the same thing. Or else I should be able to say, you know what, you had that baby and give me the baby. Yeah. If that's what I want. Thirsty though, bro. People don't realize how thirsty they be. It be to the point where like a woman will use that as a a chess piece. Right. They use it against you, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that should be that should be so crazy to me. It's like, you know a guy don't want this, you know what I'm saying, and you forcing this guy to have that. And then when he doesn't do what you want him to do, then it's child support. Then it's drama. You got to deal with all the bullshit. Yeah, for real. For I real. got to go through all the steps. If it's our kid, I should have a say so on it. Right. I got to go through all the steps because of you was in your bitter ways at the time mm -hmm. of everything happening. And nine, and nine times out of ten, bros, nine times out of ten, later on in life, everybody be back cool. But you was just and bitter it don't be a problem. Moment. And it don't be a God. problem. Oh God, that's, that's how that shit happened. I know dudes that didn't raise their kids and all that, bro, in my family, who they mamas never had the kids. Like, not like that, but they, right. but the men had them the majority of the time. Or their parents or whoever raised them, and they're on child support. It's crazy. Like, they give, but that's all a part of the system, though. The system is to break, break us, the break men. Break the men. Break the men. Yeah. Like, a woman can say, oh, he ain't doing nothing for me. Um, Put him on child support. They don't really even have to have no proof, bro. No, they don't. They can just do that oh, to where you. Where he work at? What's his social security number? Yeah, we're going to book go him. ahead and start getting that. We serving him. Hi, how you doing? And then you're going to take, if I don't pay, you finna take me to jail. So I got to go sit in jail. A lot of dudes, even though they might not want it out the gate, you got to give a person time, especially if he been begging you not to do it. Give him right. time to adjust to your betrayal. You be, He feel betrayed. You did betray. He feel like you, you set him up. So give him time to adjust to that, and I think that he might come seven, around. Seven out of ten ain't gonna come back around. Yeah, seven out of ten. Now I'm not saying I need that want to be a part of his kid's life. Like I ain't got to be a part of you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But if I really want to be a part of my kid, like let me let me come do that. But yeah, give me my give me my time. Facts. Like I feel like it's betrayed. I feel like you, you know, like you trying to you trying to force me into a situation I ain't trying to get forced into. You you doing you doing everything against me and you doing it out of hurt or spite, hate or yeah. whatever or spite or whatever like you feel like you might feel like we could have been a good couple and i didn't want you yeah facts whatever your reason is that's why you doing it yeah. it's not because of oh i got pregnant i love kids and i really want this baby facts. it has nothing to do with that bro a chick could get a thousand abortions by anybody else but you, you keep yours it'd be like are you serious like Tom, Dick, Harry, Jason, Ron, Ron, yeah. and Lil Baby was all able to get the abortion. But you got it by me, and we got it. Oh, man. Man, and I'm, you know, I'm not Jerry Rice and Michael Jordan. Like, I don't and know I'm, what you're holding me down I'm for. I'm cold. I feel like I'm cold, <laughs> something, man. I'm like, hey, y'all, my cash app is not oh, real. real. It's hard. That nigga ain't got it like that. For I ain't real. got it like that. So, what you trying to trap me for? That is ridiculous, man, on everything. Because the women, women be thinking, like, that baby going to make everything right. But if vice versa, okay, now and you, yeah, what if, you go the other way. What if the what if it was to be vice versa? What if we had that? What if we had that ability? What if we had the ability to be to keep keep a bitch niggas or whatever the fuck, keep a female niggas to where we can keep a baby? Like, what if we had that? What if we had that much control over a female body? Like, she still got to be able to have a baby because I don't even want to picture a man being pushing her out. That's all. But 
she still got to be able to have a baby, but I got control over if you keep that baby or not. Like, yeah. what if we really had that control to say, you know what, you going to keep that kid because I want that kid. How many women will birth that child would be like, no, nah, you want this baby, nigga, so here. Not that many. It'll be a lot of deadbeat women out here. They'll be, they'll be quick to, you want this baby, here you go. Oh, yeah, you talking about like that. Like, yeah, oh, vice if, versa. If, if, like, you like, get I'm the able to, I'm able to say, you know what, like, if we was able to trap them, if it was vice versa, if we was able to trap them to say, I'm finna put this baby in you, you finna keep this baby. And if we was on some bitter shit, like, you can't get rid of that baby. If we had that much control to say, you can't get rid of that baby. Oh, absolutely. I want that baby. A lot of dudes, a lot of dudes would take the baby without the mamas, and that's what they don't realize. Like, a lot of the problem don't be the baby; it be the mama. What? Like a motherfucker I be like, swear. I just don't want to deal with this rat for the next eighteen years. Man, I remember, and forgive me, but I remember somebody talking about their mama had like that. The baby mama had just stepped out for whatever reason. You know, he was like, you know, I got to take care of the baby mama myself, and I was like. My nigga, you 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 in heaven. You blessed. Well, if I ain't got nobody to argue with over this baby, what? Man. You no, know I mean women to keep this baby for free. Yeah. If I have a little girl, you no, know I mean women that's finna do her hair for free. Man. Man, you know how man, I'd be in fucking heaven. Oh man. Would have no it. hard time with no babysitters. Lisa would got worried. I, man. For real. Worry about what I'm doing or who I'm with. I ain't gotta worry about you telling me, oh, who you with? Where you was at? Who you got my baby around? I ain't got to worry about none of that. I'm going to be in the mall with my kid man, telling oh, people, like, her her mom was a war veteran. She man. died in Afghanistan. Over with. Take us home. Help <laughs> us. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> Help me. For real, for real, man. <laughs> On everything, that shit is crazy, man. But, like, you know, like we start this conversation off, man, like, if a guy knew that every woman he went inside got pregnant, the world would be way different. I know what it is. Y'all know what it is, man. It's Cold 7, man. Your boy V, motherfucking Tizzle. <laughs> Skinny, man. We here with Cold 7, man. And thank y'all for tuning in, man. That's probably the talk we did together today because it was a real serious moment. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all like it. I hope y'all continue to tune in, man. I hope y'all continue to show love. This is a platform for Las Vegas, motherfucking Nevada. So hit us up, man, about anything y'all want to talk about. Send us any any links, any video Good, links. Good, bad, it don't any matter. Any video links. I don't care if it's music. I don't care if it's Leave your basketball. feelings at home, though, because we're not yeah. going to like it all. Please. Yeah, I don't care if it's your, your music. I don't care if it's a basketball thing. I don't care if it's comedy. I don't care whatever it is. Give me yeah. something to review. Let's go ahead and put everything on the platform. Absolutely. Let's grow this thing, man. So y'all know what it is, Code 7. You know where to follow us at. K-O-D-E-S-E, -E, number 7, E-N, on YouTube. Subscribe. Click the link. And brush y'all teeth, man. That's a good <laughs> thing, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all be blessed. Go. Peace, man. Salute. What you heard? What you heard? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What you heard? What you heard? Huh? Huh? What you heard? You can hear a motherfucker.